Introducing the all new Corolla. Guahan Academy Charter School students can continue learning at their current campus. And students at George Washington and John F. Kennedy High Schools will find their campuses less crowded next year. That's all thanks to a lease and purchase agreement signed by Governor Eddie Calvo yesterday. To be in limbo is not a very good position to be in. So there is a lot of relief, and I'm happy to see that. But the $57 million tax credit deal with Cortec didn't come without criticism. And Calvo today to told PNC limbo, he anticipates there will still be challenges be. ahead, with so Senators Ben Pangolinan and Michael San Nicholas both publicly stating that they're willing to take court action. Calvo says such action would only cause harm to the students relying on the deal to provide a campus for charter schools and would stall the opening of a new central high school in the space currently used as a temporary campus for Antillon Middle School. So this would jeopardize uh, all these students that are currently uh, using the campus as well as the plans uh, for GW and some of the other public schools such as JFK that are, have this overcrowding problem. The latest agreement scratches out plans to build additional offices for the Department of Education, but the governor's education advisor says the DOE headquarters will still be able to move out of this building in Agania and into Tietzen. The existing Cortec facility, the, the old uh, Cortec offices, that will be just enough to take uh, the uh, central offices in Agania out. What he wanted to do was combine all of the central office functions that are currently housed. Uh, Chief Brody has some, Agata Johnston has some, and then bring the facilities and maintenance so that they're all together in one location. The deal also leaves out athletic facilities for the new high school, but Governor Calvo hopes the legislature will give it more consideration as the government has six months to act on new construction. Uh, but I'm going to defer to the legislature and I will not make a move uh, until the legislature decides what they want to do. So uh, I'm looking towards their guidance. They may have to amend the current laws uh, that they have in place because all we were doing was trying to comply with the laws that they created. And while the agreement has undergone a lot of scrutiny in recent weeks, Calvo says it is a valuable piece of real estate with top quality buildings and assets. Getting more bang for the buck, he says, than when the government negotiated other deals for schools such as the new JFK. We do believe that we've followed the letter of the law. Uh, the only areas that we did not follow, uh, again, is on the expansion uh, of the facilities. And uh, uh, if you compare the deal that we made and you, you compare it with other private sector valuations or deals, it sure seems to us that uh, uh, our negotiators did a pretty darn good job.